okay we'll have to know if you can watch it can be seen in there um this afternoon my name is Inka Deshola, like you know and um you know i'm a farmer vegetable farmer and everything today i will be discussing how to grow onions in your backyard in the southwest in the south south in every other thing and how to grow onion using seed to grow onions now why did i bring up this topic this afternoon I went to farm today and I came back, friends, families, people on Facebook, they've been calling me, sending me messages and tagging me to say, look, the North said they are not bringing onions to the South-South or to the South, to the South majorly, that they are not supplying us onions again. And I felt, look, what can, uh, let me just briefly, because I realized three days ago, even before the, before the ban or whatever. Welcome, welcome. Sorry for the break in transmission. You see, in Nigeria, we find out, when I realize most people, not most people, many of us, many people do not know that you can grow onions even in your backyard. You can grow onion in a sack. You can grow onion, you know, you can grow onion in the, so many ways. So I'm going to be, this afternoon, I'm going to be explaining some of the ways you can grow onions. You can grow the one you will eat in your family. You can, you will even have extra to sell. Yes, you will have extra of the onion to sell. Now, the first thing, the, you need three main things to grow onions. Three main things. There's still some other things, but I'll just briefly mention. The three main things to grow onion you need is, one, you need a small space. If you are growing for your family, for the one you will hit at home, you just need a small space. Why did I say the small space? You can grow the onion in the sack. You can grow, the, you know, so you need a small space, maybe a backyard. And if you don't have space, you can look for sack. As in, you know, there's something we call grow bags. You can get grow bags or cement bags. Get cement bags, wash them thoroughly, wash them clean, and you fill them with soil. And put it by the side of your window or just around your house you can grow it now you need seed there are two ways by which you can grow onion you can grow onion through the seed you can grow onion through using the seed and you can grow onion through the bulb but the fastest way for people that are just starting up for somebody that is trying to learn is growing onions using the seed now one thing is this seed onion seed are sold in so many places in agro shops what uh, onions that are sold in agro shops? Where are the agro shops? At least every, almost every place, every town has agro shops. Places where they sell seed, onion seeds. You can easily get onion seeds to buy. This package in five gram, five gram, and twenty five gram, hundred gram, one kg, depending on the quantity you want to plant. Now, how do you get? So you have to source for the seed. However. There is a something onion select season. What do you mean by season? There are period when we have rainfall. There are period when we don't have rainfall. There's a dry season. There's a rainy season, and uh, there you know the cool the cool period and the hot season. So because of this onion select season, if you plant you so you need to be sure you are getting the right seed for the season that's why the northerners have gotten the right seed for their season that's why they could plant all year round personally for me i grow onions in the southwest i grow on onions in Oyo state i'm not on farm today and i don't know you know network is not too good on my farm i will have done live videos for you to see onion with the bulbs as of last week i still send we still send some onion to lagos with flesh to our customers yes i know some of my customers are here we send onions with bulbs grown in oyo state sharky area of oyo state i still have them on my farm we'll still be harvesting this week but that's not the topic the topic is how can you grow it for yourself it's time we start growing our home food so first you need to get the seed and i told you you just need a small space you don't need plenty space now if you are buying seed of onion you need if they if you are buying five gram seeds are sold in grams if you are buying five gram of seed Inside that five gram of seed, you are going to get uh, inside that five gram of seed. You are going to get not less than one thousand five hundred seed seeds. It means if you plant that one thousand five hundred, you are going to lose some. You are not going to have everything to the end. So you lose some. You understand? So even if you are going to lose it, you still have nothing less than five hundred seed. Now imagine five hundred seed means five hundred onion. That seed five hundred will produce five hundred bobs for you. 
You know what we mean by bulbs? The onion you are eating. So that's, you need to first, like that I said, you need to first get the seed. Then the seed is based on the quantity you want to plant. Now, how do you plant it? Like I said, when you get the seed, you take it to your house. When you get the seed, you take it home. When you get the seed to the house, the first thing you prepare your soil. How do we prepare soil? This one I'm explaining, please. If, if you're a first timer, don't plant on a large scale, please. There's, you know, you don't just jump into things when you've not practiced. But if you're a, if you're a first timer, follow this, buy the smallest, the quantity, the lowest, the smallest quantity of seed you can get. Take it to the house. If you have five gram, buy it. If you have 10 gram, buy. Or if you have 25 gram seed, I told you seed I measure, buy. Now, for those that have five gram seed, I told you when you get home, it's going to, you will lose some. There's no way you will not lose some of the seed. I'm being sincere with you. So you get to, how many of us have planted tomatoes before? As in, you know, you can't plant tomato directly onto the feed. You can't plant pepper directly onto the feed. You need to do some little nursery. Now, why did you do nursery? I'm going to briefly explain it. Why we do nursery is that because those seeds are tiny. If you see onion seed, they are very small, tiny. You can't, you understand? You can't count them. So because they are small, they are tiny. If you pour them on a normal place and you just say you are planting, they will not, most of them will die off. If they stay on top of each other when you are planting them, they will die off. So because of that, there's something we call nursery stage. At the nursery stage, at the nursery stage, you take this, your onion. If you have five gram, you can use all at once because I told you, you will lose some. If you have 10 gram, divide it into two. If you have 25 gram, divide it into five. Now, when you are opening these seeds, all those ones, all those ones we are dividing, put them in a tight, closed enclosure. Now, something with the seed is that if you export seeds to hair, to, you know, hair, breeze and everything, it will not germinate. One. Two, if you export seed, most of you that have cows, you put seed on your seat in the car. You put, you just throw it anywhere in the car. You are moving around with it all the time. It will, it, once it's exposed to the effect of the sun, it will not, it may not germinate. So those are the reasons some of the people's onions are not surviving. Like now I went to a shop.